Hello everyone. I am here to discuss about the CCNA syllabus and I will be comparing the syllabus of CCNA version 1.0 and version 1.1. So CCNA is a global certification exam in which we have certain syllabus. Earlier we were having version 1.0 syllabus. Now we have updated syllabus that is version 1.1. So I am Vishal from Mintworkers Home Technical Team and now let's begin that we have CCNA and this the broad concept that we have to see here is network fundamentals network fundamentals then after this network fundamentals we have network access like how to access this network now once we will discuss this network access then we will see this IP connectivity so in this also IP connectivity we have in this also we have the IP connectivity. <coughs> and then we have a job security fundamentals and security fundamentals and automation and programmability and again automation and programmability. Now he will observe here that every where it is written here is percentage 15 percentage 10 percentage so it is giving you the information about the weightage of these topics in the CCNA examinations. Now, if we will discuss one by one, so in the version 1.0 and version 1.1, we have certain syllabus that is, in the network fundamentals, it is going to start from the roles and the functions of the network components. So in the network components, we will be discussing about like routers, switches, and that two also, what is layer two switch, what is layer three switch, then what is this next generation firewalls, then what is this IPS that is intrusion prevention system, controllers, end devices, servers, power on Ethernet. So these are the different components. Apart, like here also we have the same, and here also we have the same thing. Then when you will come discuss about the characteristics of the network topologies, architectures. So here we are going to have two tier architectures, then three tier architectures, spine leaf architectures, wide area network, small office, home office, and even on-premises cloud. So here also we have the same thing. Here also we have the same thing. Then after that, it is going to compare the physical interface and the cabling types. So in this, we have a single mode, fiber, multi-mode fiber, copper, and even connections <coughs> that is point to point and Ethernet shared media connections. Here also we have the same thing. Now, if you will observe, this is a concept of power on Ethernet and power over Ethernet. This same is there. Then we have as a inter identify the interface and the cable issues. Here also we have interface and cable issues. Then compare TCP and UDP. Like you know that TCP stands for transmission control protocol and UDP stands for user datagram protocols. So TCP is a connection oriented whereas UDP is a connectionless protocol. Next we need to configure and verify the IP for addressing and subnetting. Because we have two types of IP version 4 and one is IP version 6. So we will be discussing about this IP addresses, IP for addressing and also its submitting part. <clears throat> then also we have certain private IP addresses and public IP addresses in version IPv4 that is also mentioned here. Next, after that it is showing you that we have to configure and verify the IP version 6. That is also IP version 6. So you know that IP version 4 is of 32 bits and IP version 6 is of 128 bits. Next, we have to compare the IPv6 address types. In this, we have is a global unicast, unique local, link local, anycast, multicast, and modified EUI. EUI means extended unique identifier. Here also, we have the same concept, extended unique identifier, and everything like unique, anycast, unicast, anycast, and multicast. Then we have to verify the IP parameters for the client operating systems. Here also we need to verify the IP parameters for the client operating system. Then we need to discuss about the wireless principles. In that we have to see what is like uh, non-overlapping Wi-Fi channels, SSID that is service set identifier, uh, routing for encryptions and here also encryptions. 
So then we need to understand here explain virtualization fundamentals. Here also we have virtualization fundamentals. And then switching concept, switching concept like Mac learning, Mac learning, frame switching, frame blending, Mac adjustable and Mac adjustable. Then in the network access, like here we have to see about this is all about network fundamentals. Now you know about this network fundamentals. Now we will see how to access that network. So in this first we have what is that VLAN. So VLAN it stands for virtual local area network and also it is going to have certain ports, access port, data port, voice port, default VLAN, default VLAN, connectivity, <coughs> then inter VLAN connectivity. So like we have, we have to enable the communication with different VLAN that we can say it is a inter VLAN. Then configure and verify the inter switch connectivity that is trunk port and it is going to use that is tagging method 802.1q encapsulation and native VLAN and native VLAN. So till here we have observed that approximately the syllabus are same. Now once you see here configure and verify layer 2 discovery protocol that is Cisco discovery protocol and LLDP that is link layer discovery protocol. Then configure and verify here layer 2 and layer 3 ether channel. You know that we have was NLCP that is link aggregation control protocol and one we have is a PAGP that is port aggregation protocol. So PAGP is a Cisco proprietary and LSAP is of open standard. Here also the same thing is there. Now describe the need for the basic operations of like rapid PBST spanning tree protocol. In this we have to discuss about the root port, root bridge and other port names and port states. But if you will see here sub 10 extra things that we have to discuss is BPDU filter and video guard. Correct? Next. So in this we have uh, compared wireless architectures and AP modes. In this also we have wireless architectures and AP modes. In this we have certain like access port, trunk ports, LEG that is link aggregations. Here also we have same thing that is access point, wireless LAN controller, access point, trunk ports and LAG that is link aggregations. So then describe AP and uh, WLC management using Telnet, SSH, HTTP, HTTP, HTTPS and that uh, TACAX plus and radius. Here also we have same. But if this is one extra thing we have that is cloud managed. Then configure and the components of the wireless LAN access for the client connectivity using such as VLAN or uh, WLAN creation, security setting, quality of services and advanced WLAN settings. Here also we have the discussion about that. And uh, one more thing that is interpret the wireless LAN using GUI configurations. That is graphical user interface configurations. So next after this, we have is a IP connectivity. So in the IP connectivity, we will be discussing about the routing protocol codes. What is this prefix value, that mask, next hop, AD value that is administrative distance, metric, gateway to the last resort. And after that, we have determined how our routers make a forwarding decision by default. So that is done with the help of longest match, AD values and routing protocol metric. Here also we have the same things. Then configure and verify the IPv4 and IPv6 static routing. Here also we need to configure both the IPv6 and IPv4 version 4 static routing. Indeed we have default network route, host route, floating static. Then OSP version 2. In that we have to say about the network neighbor adjacency, neighbor agencies, point to point broadcast, that is DR and BDR selections also. That we know designated router and backup designated router. After that, this router ID, router ID is a 32 bit identification number that is used to identify the router in the network and also it is used for <coughs> DR and BDR elections. Then describe the first hop redundancy protocol. 
and uh, describe the purpose and functions of the first hop redundancy protocols. In this, we have like HSRP, we will be discussing hot standby redundancy protocols. That is your Cisco proprietary. Then we have in this IP services, we have config and NAT. So in this, we will be having static NAT and dynamic NAT, even PAT, uh, PAT that is NAT, NAT overload. So explain the role of DSCP and DNS, configure and verify the NTP. So here also we have these things. So in this we have configure and verify NTP operating in the client and server mode. Explain the functions of SNMP network operations. Here also we have DSCP, DNS, SNMP, DSCP client, relay and uh, quality of services and even network devices of remote access using SSH. And here also we have the same thing. So DSCP client relay, per hop behavior, and in the quality of services like classification, marking, queuing, congestion, policing, and shaping. Then we have the described the capabilities and the functions of the TFTP and FTP. That is trivial file transfer protocol and file transfer protocols. After that, we have to discuss about the security fundamentals. So in the security fundamentals, it is telling you to discuss that what is threats, vulnerabilities, exploits, mitigations, and here also we have the same thing. Then describe the security program elements like awareness, training, physical access. Here also we have everything. Then configure device access control list using local password. And here also access control using local passwords. Describe password policy elements such as management, complexity and password alternatives like we have as certificates and biometrics and here also we have the same thing. Describe remote access and site-to-site -side VPN. Here also we have remote access and site-to-site -side VPN. Configure verify access control list, access control list. Then in this we have to discuss about the layer 2 security feature that is DSP snooping. To understand DSCP snooping, first we need to understand DSCP spoofing. Then dynamic ARP inspections and certain other security concepts, that is port security. Now there is a one AAA concept that we call as a authentication, authorizations and accounting concepts. And describe wireless security protocols like WPA, WPA2, WPA3 and here also we have this all. Then configure and verify uh, wireless local area and network with using GUI, that is graphical user interface with the help of this WPA2 preset key. And after that, at last we have is automation and programmability. So in this, we need to start discussing about that, how this automation impact the network managements. In this, we will be seeing traditional network and uh, controller based networking. What is this uh, overlay, underlay and fabric that is and uh, comparison of separation of control plane, data plane, then northbound APIs and southbound APIs. Compare this traditional campus device management using Cisco DNA Center enabled device management. And see, if you will observe this, that is comparing this traditional device management with Cisco DNA Center has been removed and now new, new topic has been added under this, that is explain artificial intelligence generative and predictive and machine learning in the network operations. And then we have described characteristics of REST-based APIs under this code and HTTP verbs and data encodings and recognize the capabilities of Ansible and Terraform. Here also we have, that is Terraform and Ansible, here also we have. Then interpret JSON encoded data and here also we have JSON encoded data. So we can say approximately maximum syllabus are same only one of the two topics we can say it is going to be new. Correct? Our networkers whom we used to provide these CCNA courses also. And if you enroll here, you will get all the lab access and you will be uh, getting the access of the real devices. You can practice on the real devices. Thank you very much.